Hola, mi bishes, tis I, Clovis, aka Manny Bish, on Insta, and today we are doing a pink winter wonderland type of Manny. I am going to be using, using Gumdrop, which is this pink shimmer that I have on my right hand, um, Milky White from Designer Dips, Vanity from Revel, this will be my first time using this one, and um, Snow Way from um why can i not um manny boss wow reed and rosewater from kira sky i'm actually barely going to be using snow way um what i'll actually be using later on that you'll see is marshmallow fluff from manny boss now here i will insert a picture of my inspiration um for this manny and so this is what we're going to be recreating but um it's going to be more like outgoing so i am only doing one layer of everything on my fingers because um that was i didn't want to go too much with the milky white i wanted it to actually be milky so i did one layer of this and then the rose water was just like um i really liked the sheerness of that to try and match um the uh inspiration photo and on my middle finger we are just going to be ombre those two together rose water and the milky white and um i don't even know guys i'm so sick it's not even funny um, so sorry I sound like this. I'm just really trying to keep at it and like, you know, get the stuff done. <clears throat> and so I was like, I still gotta do this. I want to do this. But um my this is like my third, fourth day. This is my fourth day being sick and um the nose is still like miserable. So anyways. So I put rose water at my cuticle and milky white at my free edge. And then after I was um, done with that, I tapped it in the middle just to um, like get that transition better. And now there's a few little like miss like random holes in the white. So I did end up going in for a second layer on the white at my free edge but for the part that is um rose water at the cuticle area i'm just going to be dipping in clear to not mess up that pink color that we have going on and make it any darker um so i just dipped right into my white um or into my clear and that's like my like dirty clear anyway so i wasn't worried about getting white in it um so now I'm going to be doing vanity, and for this one, I'm actually just going to be using um, an eyeshadow brush for two and just get it like diagonal across my nail um, because the glitter didn't seem like it was all over the nail. It seemed like it was concentrated um, towards the center of the nail in the photo, and so I'm just doing that and then dipping it into clear to get the rest of the... Um, dip base to uh soak up now i did go ahead and put a full layer on my nails i'm doing my thumb the same way as my ring finger because i knew i wanted to dip in clear after getting the glitter down and that way i could have an even um layer on my fingers and not just have this random like bulkiness where only the glitter is so i did do that on purpose and then for this next layer what i'm going to do I am going to be um, scrubbing my nails. Well, first that one's still wet, so I decided to stick them back into the clear. Now I'll be scrubby brushing all of my nails, and what I'm going to do on my ring and thumb is put the dip base only where I want to put these chunkier glitter pieces at, and I'm going to go in and do some glitter placement with the big chunky pieces. And I'm only going to be putting these right in the center of that like diagonal situation that we did just to create more of an emphasis of the glitter in that area. And I'm going to be doing the exact same thing on my thumb as well. And after I get these glitter 
uh, pieces placed where I want them to be. Um, I'm even taking some small pieces too. It's not just giant pieces, but it, I was focusing more on the big pieces. Um, after I do that, I am sticking my finger in clear again just to get that excess dip base soaked up and good to go. And so we're just sticking these like in a cluster of glitter. I really like didn't have a rhyme or reason. I was just like, this is where it's concentrated at. I'm not trying to create a pattern or anything like that. It was just place them wherever kind of thing. And if there's a hole, place another one. So that is what I did. And then um, I was sticking my thumb back into the clear to absorb that base. I am pressing them down just a little bit and now I'm going to be clear capping. So, on my index and pinky finger, I did do two dips of clear. I did two layers of clear, just because those ones were the thinnest. So, the other ones were like, everything else got dipped in clear also, but my pinky and ring finger got dipped twice, just um, because they only had one layer going on. Uh, the ombre nail had two layers, the glitter nail had, um, like, one and a half, and it was just, so, yeah, that was just my rhyme and reason when I did it. And, again, I am pouring my activator over my nails. Um, I'm not sure if I did it on my next Manny as well, but I promise you guys, at this point, while I'm doing this voiceover, this activator is no longer with me. <laughs> I have moved on to a new bottle, so yeah, I don't know if you'll be seeing it in the next video or not, I don't remember, but at this point when I'm talking, it's gone. So now we are going to be doing our top coat, and I'm going to be using my 2-in-1 gel from Manny Boss, uh, just because it's everything all in one, you know, good to go. Um, I already file, filed and buffed, so we are just going in on this, capping my free edges and all the stuff. I am only going to be showing you two nails because for some reason this process took me way longer than it needed to. I have no idea why. I don't know what I was like going through while doing this that this was literally, this is two times sped up and it looks like I'm just doing it in regular speed and it was like this on all of my nails and so I don't know why this particular process was like so tedious for me this day. So anywho, I got my two-in-one applied on all of my fingers and I'm just cleaning up around my cuticle with this um, McCart Poly Gel Brush and some alcohol. And now I'm going to be using the matte top coat on only my middle finger and index finger. So this is the matte gel top coat from Manny Boss as well. And I'm only using this on my index and middle finger, nowhere else. And um, I cured the two-in-one for 60 seconds, and I'm going to be putting my hand back in the light for 60 seconds to cure this one as well. And then we will get into the nail artsiness of the stuff. And so now we will get into the nail art of this. I'm using this um, McCart brush I got off of Amazon in a three pack. This is the um, medium sized one. And I'm using my two in one gel for this part. And I'm gonna be doing a sweater nail situ- Well, okay, all of these are going to be raised like 3D sugar situations. But on this one, I'm doing like the sweater nail situation. <laughs> Situation is like my favorite word. I don't know, but I'm not doing it in the S shape What I'm doing is just little curves going into each other. So I'll just start midway in one curve and like go the opposite direction of it and then creating or drawing those lines on the sides of that main focal point that we have going on down the center of my nail and then I'm going to actually, instead of doing like just simple polka dots or stripes down the sides of my nail, I'm going to be doing the same design that we did in the center, also down the sides of my nail. 
So here I'm just going to go inwards, outwards, inwards, outwards, like just creating, it's almost like, like little just half C's going all the way down. I know it's really hard to see because I decided to use clear for this process, but um, you will see more so uh, when I actually get it like sugared. So this is where I'm going to be using gumdrop and I'm just going to pour this over and I this was <laughs> this was actually very difficult to see so at the end i will be showing you guys that i did do like another little layer situation on this um just to get it like thicker but now i'm going in and we're going to this is where i used a little bit of um okay see i didn't even show you guys where i used um snow day or s yeah because that snowflake was just so hard to see so here i'm using marshmallow fluff and i mixed it in with a little bit of my two in one just to make it a little bit thicker and so that way i could see a little bit more what i was doing which it really still didn't help but because i didn't want to make it too thick where i couldn't like use it so on my uh ring finger you see that snowflake already done i didn't show you guys that because it was so hard to see since i've already got like a clear translucent base going on with that and then i used <clears throat> clear with a little bit of shimmer in it to try and create the snowflake you just could not see so i'm showing you here how i made some snowflakes i thought i was going to have to sneeze but i guess not um anywho so i'm just creating like first i created a like x like a straight up and down x so one vertical line one horizontal line and then i created an x like going through those from the center points until i had um eight little like lines going on and then i am just working off of those lines creating little points and this is how we're going to be doing our snowflake and um then i am going to be taking that and just creating little dots around the snowflake almost like a background snowflake kind of situation just filling in some gaps that were there on the nail i'm going to be pouring over marshmallow fluff before we cure it and then putting this in the light i'm only putting this in the light for 30 seconds because at the end i will be giving my hand like a full-on 60 second cure anyways so yeah and I'm going to be showing you this nail um, that I did snowflakes going on either side. So this was why the glitter, I think, was like so focused in the center was that because the artwork for the like snowflake was um, more off to the side. Now, in the picture, they didn't show a thumb or anything. So I just made the thumb. This part is just my interpretation of what it, I don't know, would have looked like. And um, so yeah i'm putting a uh, half of a snowflake here in this corner of my nail and i'm trying to make each snowflake just a little bit different so here on this one i'm going to be creating like little dotted points on it so you'll see me like create this little dot and then i just drag it out into a point and i'm going to be doing that on all of our little point guys here so there's three of them on this uh snowflake and then I'm going to be doing a, another half of a snowflake up here. And this one is going to be, it's going to have four points on this half of our snowflake. So I was just trying to do each one slightly bit different, um, but also keep it as simple as possible with just like lines and polka dots, you know? We weren't like doing anything too intricate with these little snowflakes. And I'm going to be pouring over marshmallow fluff again. And um, another thing was on the inspo pick that I had, not every finger was raised 3D. Like the snowflake on the ring finger was um, just regular flat paint situation. But I was like, no, I want all of them to be 3D um raised and there wasn't anything on the pinky but i felt like my pinky needed something after having art on all of the other ones i didn't want to leave it plain so i am just adding these little like stars just the little like you know simple um 
vertical, horizontal, thick center stars. And um, then we're going to be also pouring marshmallow fluff over that. And now I'm, this is the point where I'm going to cure my hand for a full 60 seconds. And then I brush everything off. And this is where I realized like I needed more on my index finger. So we're going to be making that just a tiny bit thicker going in with that same mixture of marshmallow fluff and two-in-one base that I have. And I'm just going directly on top of all of the stuff that I already did. And I'm only going to be doing this on that center design and on these lines. I'm going to be leaving the side ones alone uh, just because they are like more of a backgroundness versus the center of the nail where you want it to be the focal point. And then I'm pouring more gumdrop over it. And then uh, we cured that for another 60 seconds, scrubbing the excess off. And this is the final look of our nails. So yeah, this is my winter wonderland, my pink winter wonderland little Manny. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe it helped you out a little bit. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are so close to 500 subscribers. It's unbelievable. I love you guys, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye, bitches.